please welcome the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Saab Automobile, Peter Augustson. Good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us here tonight for actually the start of um, the 2004 Greater Los Angeles Auto Show. I wasn't exactly sure about the American saying, you are operating in the dark, but I think I now start to understand the meaning of that uh, wording. Tonight is a significant occasion for us at Saab. We are a small company who for 55 years have been producing cars recognized for their unique design and also good handling dynamics. Indeed, our ability to make distinctive aerodynamic machines that moves fast actually is a product of our heritage. First in aviation and then in rally. Throughout the years, Saab has built a loyal customer base and a very strong brand equity. But we want our cars to reach a larger audience and being a part of the GM family has allowed us to grow and to grow rather fast. The key to our expansion is to prioritize key markets and North America is the most important of all our markets in that respect. The Saab 92X debuting here tonight is an important component in our growth in the US market. And I am happy to say that these are exciting times for us at Saab. Saab is presently the fastest growing European premium brand in the American market. We are actually now in the middle of the biggest and most aggressive product development program in our history. In a very short period of time, we've composed the family of premium vehicles of which we are very proud. The 9.5 model remains our flagship. For 2004, we upgraded and re-engineered the 9.5. For example, the 95 Aero Sport Wagon and the sedan features more aggressive styling, and the 95 Arc model offers a new 2.3 liter, 220 horsepower engine that has more power, weighs less, and is more fuel efficient than the V6 it replaces. Both these cars have been awarded five-star crash safety rating by both European NCAP and NHTSA. As for the 9.3 model range, our largest product line, last year we launched the all-new 9.3 sports sedan, our first entry into the premium sedan segment below the 9.5. This is the largest segment in its class. Sales of the sports sedan have been a measurable success for us. For example, sales of these models are up more than 120% uh, over the predecessor. And of course, this year we launched the convertible. This is not just another convertible, it's actually a convertible that you can use and you should use all season. The convertible for us is a part of our cornerstones. It's a really cornerstone for the brand, and we come from a position of strength. Actually, four out of ten premium soft tops sold in this segment are SOMs. By all measures, the convertible is a winner. In a recent edition of Newsweek, featuring the holiday gift guide, actually, they named the 2004 Saab convertible as one of their, one of this year's hottest gifts for that special someone who has been very, very good. As for the 9.3 Sport Hatch concept, 
The 93 Sport Hedge concept looks at ways to involve and expand the 93 model line. This vehicle is our third concept in three years, following the 9X and the 93X concept vehicle. The 93 Sport Hatch concept is a cross between a traditional hatchback and a sport wagon, and it signif signifies Saab's intention to enter into the mid-size wagon segment. It is powered by a high-performance 250 horsepower, 2-liter turbo engine, and the 93 Sport Hatch inherits our trademark, that is, high torque performance. This ensemble of cars represent our sustained effort to grow the brand and to reach new demographics. There is another premium segment quickly developing, and that is actually the sporty premium compact segment, a newly emerging segment below that of the 93 Sports sedan. And the launch of the 92X represent our foray into this new segment. In order to bring that car to market quickly, we requested to work together with Fuji Heavy Industries. They are a leader in on-road, all-wheel drive technologies, and it is also, as you know, a GM Alliance partner. The vehicle mission is very simple, attract new, younger customers, and to grow the brand here in the US and in the Canadian market. Like all our cars, the 92X, uh, 92X exemplifies the Scandinavian design and performance standard for which our brand is known and trusted. Those very attributes which makes a Saab a Saab and clearly differentiates our vehicles from those of competition. Here tonight to tell you more about the design and the details about the 92X is Mikael Mauer. Mikael, please. Thank you, Peter. Thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The 92X definitely embodies all the traditional Saab hallmarks. You have the advanced driving dynamics, uh, turbocharged engines, sporty and dynamic design, hatchback versatility, and for the first time in Saab's history, you have all-wheel drive. So ultimately, yes, this is the car for a driving enthusiast. But there's another first for us. It is the engine layout. It is a boxer engine layout that goes very well with the all-wheel drive application because the transmission is mounted behind the engine. The 92X will come in two versions, the 92X Linear and the 92X Aero. The Aero will feature 227 horsepower and 207 foot-pound of torque. So this whole package will accelerate you in 6.8 seconds from 0 to 60. Let's talk a little bit about the design. The front of the car has the three-hole air intake, the typical Saab face, but it is much more pronounced and three-dimensional shaped. So this car tells you, yes, I am a Saab. In the lower part of the bumper, you have a very pronounced air intake and in combination with the nicely integrated scoop on the hood, this car tells you much more. Yes, I'm a Saab, and you better get out of my way. If you talk about the side and the rear end of the car, the configuration of the C-pillar and the way how the glass wraps around the corner might remind you of the 95 Sport Wagon. The whole rear end and the bumper is nicely sculptured and the lower part of the bumper is done in line with the rest of the Aero family. We put a lot of attention to the rear spoiler, trying to integrate it nicely into the shape of the car. 
So now, what do I like the most about the car? It is just fun to drive. It's a blast to drive this car. And on top of this, you get some versatility. You are able to carry all your sports gear with you. And since I am out uh, outdoors all week, or, oh, sorry, Peter, I have to say, almost all weekends, this is really the car I would like to own. And now I would like to ask Deborah to join us here and to tell you a little bit more about the 92X and the American market. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. I love a car that knows how to make an entrance. Nice job. As Peter said at the top, Saab is the fastest growing European brand in the United States. Our sales are up 27% for the year, and we've been on a record-setting pace all year long. And unlike many of our competitors who've grown their product portfolios dramatically in recent years to achieve growth, our record-setting sales have been achieved with fewer variants than a year ago. We're just now, with the 92X, beginning to expand our product portfolio into new segments to keep our sales momentum growing strong. The 92X will enable us to reach out to younger buyers and help bring them into the Saab family even earlier. This entry-level premium car full of Saab's unique DNA brings the hallmark of Saab back to the market, a sporty, dynamic, and very versatile hatchback. It will significantly increase our brand presence here in North America as it allows us to broaden our target customer range even further. Therefore, I am absolutely thrilled to welcome the Saab 92X into the family. It will go on sale July 1st next year as a 2005 model vehicle and will be priced below the 93 Sports sedan. It's absolutely the perfect addition to our lineup. And stay tuned because there is much more to come from Saab. Thank you.